What's up fam, so in previous video I wanted to show you a PvE arms build, but like I mentioned in one of the previous videos, I want to keep the length of videos maximum 10 to 15 minutes and only aim for the most important things, without going into too much details and confuse people even more. So PvE arms build is neat especially when it comes to trash. I mean, not only trash, of course, it shines on bosses as well. The thing is, you need a decent two-handed weapon, such as, uh, I don't know, Ashkandi, Bone River Sedge from uh, Ragnaros, uh, Bone River Sedge plus uh, Badge of the Swarm Guard is win-win, uh, that's just unstoppable. Then, um, Spinal Reaper, Dark Edge of Insanity from Keytune, that axe is just amazing, PvE and PvE-wise, PvP and PvE-wise, sorry. Then we have Severance from Naxxramas, uh, Claymore of uh, Unholy Might from Naxxramas as well, which, by the way, increases your two-handed weapon skill by seven. I mean, swords. It increases swords by two-handed swords by seven. That's huge. That's huge when it comes to glancing blows, especially if you've done plus 5 swords weapon skill quest, which was introduced in the last patch, then I don't know, uh, might of manatil, etc, etc. But here is the catch, we have a new talent, Master of Arms, Turtle Wow devs did a great job putting it all together. Speaking of talents, let's not waste any more time and uh, let's just jump straight into it. Right, so uh, let's start. Let's start by putting uh, 3 out of 3 in uh, improved heroic strike. This uh, uh, doesn't play a big role because uh, as a arms PvE warrior, uh, you, you must mostly focus on AoE, uh, on AoE, uh, damage, uh, because, uh, of, uh, sweeping strikes, because of, uh, whirlwind, uh, because of, uh, cleave and all that, uh, good stuff, so, uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, heroic strike can be very, very useful, uh, against, uh, bosses, you know what I mean, so, uh, heroic strike, uh, 3 out of 3. Then we have uh, Tactical Mastery. Uh, you retain up to 25 uh, of your rage points when you are uh, when you change stances. This is stance dancing, for example, if you want to do uh, Whirlwind, uh, uh, if you want uh, to swap to uh, Berserker uh, stance for that execute uh, when the boss is... Uh, uh, under 20% uh, of health state, if you know what I mean, because Berserker Stance gives you 3%, uh, uh, additional 3% of uh, critical strike, so you chug that uh, Mighty Rage. So, basically, you you start that to, to a Zerker Stance uh, at 22-23% uh, uh, of boss's health state, uh, then you pop uh, Mighty Rage Potion, and then you have a uh, execute uh, ready with additional 3% of uh, of uh, crit with uh, 25 uh, rage points. You can also use mortal strike, you can use uh, decisive strike and uh, all that uh, all that kind of stuff, but uh, yeah, you get you get the idea of uh, tactical mastery. It's very very uh, helpful. Then we have improved red. Now, unlike fury pure fury build uh the Rand uh, actually uh, start being a part of uh, our arms PVE build rotation. I mean, implied, applied, implied. <laughs> sorry, uh, applied. Why not? Uh, uh, when 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 your uh, when your mortal strike is on cooldown, when your whirlwind is on cooldown, etc. Uh, etc. Et you know what I mean? All the key abilities when they are on cooldown, apply. Rent. I mean, why not? Why not? Uh, then we have improved charge. Uh, increase the amount of rage generated by your charge ability by ten. Now, when you when you 
normal charge without improved charge he has uh, so when you charge you're getting 15 rage points with this talent uh you're getting 25 because it's plus 10 which allows us to enable sweeping strikes immediately so you want to charge into a pack and enable sweeping strikes immediately so that you can just smash aoe down all those uh all those NPCs, uh, you know what I mean, just be careful and uh, give tanks time to apply a Sunder or two, because you might kill yourself with this, especially if you're a dope-geared warrior, if that makes any sense. You know, you know what I mean, so yeah, very, very simple. Uh, so when you charge, uh, you're getting 25 rage. This is, this is also enough for a mortal strike, uh, it's enough for whirlwind uh, because once again you stand stance for uh, uh, for a berserker stance uh, then uh, then uh, you do whirlwind which uh, costs if I am not mistaken uh, 20 rage. Then we have one point in deflection over here, but uh, that's very very useless in uh, PVE. Uh, but we need it to go down deeper into uh, deep bones. Your critical strike causes the opponents to bleed, dealing. 30% of your melee's weapons damage, average damage over 6 seconds. Oh, that's huge. Impale increases the critical strike damage bonus of your abilities by 20%. Huge, huge, huge. Now, over here, we didn't choose improved overpower because it's useless in this uh, in this build. And counter attack, a strike that's, that, that's a new talent also. A strike that becomes uh, active after pairing an opponent's attack. This attack deals 40 damage and immobilizes the target for 3 seconds. Counter attack cannot be blocked, dodged or parried. So counter attack, look at it this way. Counter attack is a mix of overpower and improved uh, uh, improved hamstring. If you remember back then uh, in Manila we had uh, improved hamstring which... Uh, uh, which helped us to immobilize the target for uh, for uh, was it five seconds? Uh, I I don't really remember something like that. Uh, yeah, and the chance was like fifteen or twenty percent. Yeah, so uh, uh, this is pure PvP talent, arms PvP talent, and it's really amazing. And the fact that it cannot be blocked, dodged, or parried is same like uh, overpowered. Overpowered cannot be blocked, dodged, or buried, and uh, uh, yeah, uh, the difference between counter attack and uh, overpower is that uh, uh, overpower becomes active when you when your attack dodges, and uh, counter attack becomes active after uh, parrying an opponent's attack. That's uh, that's the only difference between OP and. Uh, and counter attack. So counter attack, nothing. That's for PvP. Uh, then we have a two-handed weapon specialization. Increases the damage you deal with two-handed melee weapons by six percent and increases. But look at this. Increases your skill in all two-handed weapons by three. That's amazing. That's big. So you will already be on 303 weapon skill with any weapon skill is it maces uh, swords uh, axes uh, pole arms uh, no matter what you know what i mean so uh that's that's we will come uh, we will come later uh, later back uh, to this talent uh then we have a master of arms now this is new and uh, this is really really nice talent uh, devs of uh, Developers of uh, of uh, Turtle Wow made an amazing thing by putting all this uh, all these uh, different thingies uh, together in one single talent. Five out of five. So axes increases your chance to get critical strike by uh, five percent. Maces causes your attacks to ignore ten of your target's armor per level. But per level. So. Do a calculation. It's really, really easy. Swords gives you swords remain the same. Uh, gives you a five percent chance to get an uh, extra attack on the same target after hitting your target. 
and uh, pole arms increase the increases the range uh, of melee attacks with pole arms by uh, two yards. All right, so let's start with axes. Increases your chance to get critical strike by five percent. That's huge. Five percent of critical strike is huge, but uh, swords gives you a 5% chance to get an extra attack on the same target after hitting your target. So we have a, a 5% uh, from this talent. We have a Hand of Justice, which you can uh, swap, I mean, uh, you, which you can keep swapping. And you can, you have, uh, you have Wind Fury, you know, that's huge. That's a lot. Uh, so uh, my advice to you over here is to either axes or swords because uh, maces uh, i don't know there is uh there is a thunder armor there is con uh, concussion blow from uh from uh, deep perth warriors etc 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 so about maces uh, we'll have to uh, investigate a little bit more but uh, for now uh axes and swords are the best. Uh, when it comes to pole arms, you see this is very interesting. Pole arm increases the range of melee attacks uh, with pole arms by two yards. Now two yards is huge, but for PvP, erase it when it comes to PvE. Uh, almost every single class in the game wants to kite the uh, warrior. This is where pole arms and two yards steps on steam uh, against frost mages, against hunters, against, uh, I don't know, for example, rogues. You know what I mean? The rogues that uh, are trying to kite you five out of seven so that you can't, uh, so that you can't uh, intercept them. Uh, if you ever fought a rogue you, that, uh, that is uh, good, that is very, very actually good, uh, uh, by kiting you five out of seven range so that you can't uh, so that you can't apply uh, uh, hamstring etc uh, etc. Et this is where pole arms uh, steps on scene with uh, two yards uh, range because two yards is huge. Two yards is really really huge. But as I said, only for PvP. When it comes to PvE, erase it. Nothing. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty much it uh, when it comes to Master of Farms. Uh, I didn't forget anything. Next, we have Sweeping Strikes. So, uh, when it comes to Trash, you want to charge and enable Sweeping Strikes immediately. Then you want to go for uh, uh, to, 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 to Whirlwind, uh, Cleave, Mortal Strike and all that good stuff. Uh, then we have uh, your next uh, five. Melee attack strikes an additional uh, nearby opponent. So five melee attacks. That that's a lot. Five melee attacks, uh, especially if you're if you're high on crit. You know what I mean. Uh, that's 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 huge. That's huge. And uh, then we have a precision cut. Increases damage done. Uh, increases the damage done per extra rage spent on execute by sixty percent. An amazing talent. An amazing talent. Next, we have Boundless Anger, which increases our rage pool by 30. So you are no longer capped on 100 rage, but instead you are capped on 130. So let me give you an example of that. Boss is on uh, approximately 25%. You are swapping to 20. To, you, you are swapping to Zerker stance. Uh, tactical Master will allow you to retain up to uh, 25 rage when you stance stands. Uh, you will already have uh, you will already have uh, 25 rage out of uh, Tactical Mastery. Then you will uh, white hit a boss uh, once or twice uh, for some extra rage. Then then you uh, rage. Then you chug mighty rage potion and you are already on 130 rage just imagine a crit of execute with that amount of rage and especially with precision cut 
which increases once again, which increases the damage done per extra rage spent on execute by 60%. That's big. That's big. That's really big. And especially because you are in a Zerker stance, which increases, like we said, uh, which increases your melee uh, critical strike by uh, 3%. All right. Uh, and then uh, the last uh, talent in uh, Arms 3, we have Mortal Strike. When it comes to Mortal Strike, nothing really changed. Uh, a Vicious Strike that deals weapon damage plus uh, 85 and mounts the target, reducing the effectiveness of uh, any healing by 50% for uh, 10 seconds. Nothing changed over here. Mortal Strike remained uh, vanilla, vanilla like, like, like it used to be in vanilla. Now, improved disciplines, uh, this is interesting over here, decreases the cooldown of your retaliation and recklessness abilities by 12 minutes. 12 minutes is huge on recklessness. So recklessness has cooldown of 30 minutes. Minus 12 minutes equals 18 minutes. 18 minutes cooldown on recklessness, it's, it's huge. I don't know, guys, it's up to you. Uh, comment down, post the comment down below if you if you found something uh, something new or uh, if you if you if you think uh, you'll have more benefit uh, with uh, improved uh, disciplines. But for now, on uh, but from but um, for now, uh, I'm I'm I, uh, yeah. This this is the this is the this is the build that uh, that we're rolling with. Uh, so yeah, that will be pretty much it with. Uh, uh, with uh, arms uh, tree. Now over here we have cruelty, of course, uh, increases your chance. You know what cruelty is. Uh, then we have unbridled, unbridled wrath. So uh, gives you a 75% uh, chance to generate an additional rage points when you deal melee damage with a weapon. But hold on, the effect is doubled for two-handed weapons. That's what we want. That's exactly what we want. Now this, from a garbage talent, becomes an actually decent talent. I'm not saying it's good. I'm not saying it's best. I'm just saying it's a decent talent. The effect is doubled for two-handed weapons. So you won't go rage starving, that's for sure. Uh, then we have uh, improved shouts, of course, increases the melee attack power bonus of your battle shout by 25% and increases the melee attack power reduction of your demoralizing shout by uh, 40%. Uh, same as uh, if you remember back then uh, when you when you, when you you used to run the Xramas with only one warrior that has uh, improved the demoralizing shout now. Even uh, arms uh, PVE warriors uh, can uh, uh, apply uh, demoralizing shout, and uh, it will reduce uh, the attack power of target by uh, fourteen percent. Know what I mean? And uh, then we have uh, reckless execute, which reduces the cooldown of execute by uh, uh, four uh, seconds. Uh, so. Uh, for some reason, developers uh, put uh, six seconds on uh, uh, six seconds cooldown on uh, execute, uh, which is a lot. I mean, come on, six seconds uh, cooldown on, e on execute—that's uh, that that that's a lot. But uh, uh, at least they had uh, at least they had uh, enough uh, brain to reduce the cooldown. Uh, at least they had enough brain to to give us a reckless execute, which uh, reduces the cooldown of execute by uh, four seconds. Uh, so that will be two seconds cooldown uh, on uh, on execute. Uh, so yeah. Uh, anyways, uh, what I wanted to say. So that will be pretty much it. Thirty-four arms, seventeen uh, fury. That would be uh, it when it comes to talents. Now, uh, two-handed weapon specialization. Uh, you have uh, 303 uh, 
already in all weapon skills, maces, axes, uh, swords, uh, polearms, uh, you name it. Then, uh, for example, there are uh, swords such as uh, Claymore of uh, Unholy Might from uh, Naxxramas, which is an, a basic sword that increases uh, weapon, two-handed weapon swords uh, by uh, 7. Now you are already on 310 uh, uh, weapon skill. Plus, if you did a quest for swords, uh, uh, which increases skill uh, with uh, one-handed and two-handed swords, by uh, five you are already capped for glancing blow you have uh you have uh two, 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 315 uh weapon skill uh which is uh maximized for uh, reducing all that uh fantastic glancing blows uh, and uh What I wanted to mention is uh, that uh, 308 it, it is also alright if you are rolling uh, bases uh, or axes or, or something like that, you know. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if there is a mace or axe that increases mace or axes. I just know uh, of uh, Claymore of uh, Unholy Might, uh, so yeah, just try to grab that sword uh, ASAP, it's amazing. It's, it, it's a must, it's a must, especially combined with Hand of Justice, especially combined with Sword Specialization, and especially combined with uh, uh, Wind Fury, you know what I mean, so uh, yeah, uh, but uh, like I said, two-handed weapon spe specialization increases your uh, uh, two-handed weapon skill by three, and uh, you can just buy a book, uh, Ancient uh, warfire text uh, from uh, from uh, uh, Auction House. If you are lucky, you can get it in dungeon, and uh, you can increase its access maces and uh, poly arms uh, by five. Uh, that's uh, that's uh, three hundred and eight, which is still better than nothing. You know what I mean. Uh, let me see if I forgot something. I didn't put improved slab. Uh, I didn't put improved thunderclap. Uh, uh, improved overpower. Nothing. Uh, 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 however, improved overpower could play a huge role in this build because many times your uh, your target will dodge, but uh, we simply couldn't, uh, I simply couldn't find a way to fit it in, you know what I mean, otherwise uh, I would have to delete something uh, of this uh, juicy talents, I mean, look how Impale stacks with uh, literally everything, Impale and Deep Wounds uh, with uh, Mortal Strike, with uh, uh, Whirlwind, with, uh, with a Cleave, with a Decisive Strike, this Decisive Strike is... Uh, is a new strike with uh, with uh, uh, our rotation. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I cannot uh, see it over here, but you can learn it at the trainer, and it uh, becomes uh, you will use it. Uh, you will use it on a single target, uh, single target uh, rotation, aka bosses. You know what I mean. But uh, we'll cover uh, we'll cover rotation in a sec. That's pretty much it when it comes to talents. Uh, charge into sweeping strikes, into uh, berserker stance, into whirlwind cleave, uh, 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 mortal strike, uh, all that good stuff. But remember, you are playing also 50-50. Uh, you will be in arms, uh, I mean arms, you will be, you will be in battle stance 50% of the time, you will be in zerker stance 50% uh, of the time, that's pretty much it, unfortunately we couldn't, uh, uh, we couldn't uh, fit in and rage, but uh, what's there is there, now I wonder if I missed something, I don't think I did, so that's it when it comes to arms. 
PVE Fury the uh, Arabs uh, PVE talent sorry uh, all right let's move on for uh, rotation so when it comes to trash your rotation should be charge to get extra 10 rage points which will result in 25 rage points enough to enable sweeping strikes then you pop up sweeping strikes into berserker stance into whirlwind into cleave then execute with mortal strike filling in you'll top those numbers on trash i guarantee you that well not only trash really bosses as well single target aka boss rotation should be mortal strike into whirlwind into decisive strike decisive strike is a new ability by the way and you can cast it while moving meanwhile if your all cooldowns are on just apply rend if you have rage i mean why not it's improved and it deals more damage chug mighty rage potion at approximately 24 slash 25 percent of boss's health state to fill your rage bar up to 130 rage for that big juicy execute this depends how fast boss dies from 20 percent really you want to use every single second of mighty rage potion uh, because mighty rage potions uh, it increases your strength by uh, 60 which equals in 120 attack power that's big so if your raids dps is lower chug mighty rage potion at uh, 23 24 percent if you're in good guild that has a lot of pumpers you might as well do this earlier because i mentioned 120 additional attack power is a lot well that will be pretty much it shortly if you have any questions or suggestions leave a comment down below the next video i'll make is fury prot warrior that's the build i'm currently using and it works perfect even in extramas we'll see about uh, the tower of uh, karazan yeah we'll uh, take care and uh, cheers cheers cheers